Hey there everyone, this is Dan from the Strength Coach Tutor. Thanks for checking out today's video. Today we're going to discuss moment arms and the three classes of levers. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna pull up the whiteboard. So let's first review what a moment arm is. A moment arm is the perpendicular distance from the line of the force to the fulcrum. So it's, if we look at a class one lever, right? We're gonna draw this imaginary line from this red line here. And this red arrow, right, is representing the line of direction for the muscle force, all right? So imagine this line is acting straight through here. So it's a perpendicular distance from this line of force, a so perpendicular, right, forms a 90 de degree angle, and it's to the fulcrum, all right? So this distance here that I just drew, that is the moment arm of the muscle force. If I were to do the same thing for the resistive force, it would look like this, right? So this dotted line here, that is going to represent the moment arm of the resistive force, all right? So here we have the moment arm of the muscle force. This is the moment arm of the resistive. Again, the MF represents the muscle force and the RF represents the resistive force. Now what makes this a class one lever is the fact that the muscle force and the resistive force are on opposite sides of the fulcrum, all right? So the fulcrum is going to be in the middle in this example. Typically in a class one lever, we have a mechanical disadvantage where the moment arm of the resistive force is larger or longer than the moment arm of the muscle force. So that means that we have to exert a lot more muscle force to move a very small external resistance. And so when we think about the ex exercise example as a tricep extension exercise, think about we can't typically do a whole lot of weight or move a lot of resistance, right? When we do any type of tricep extension exercise because of this mechanical disadvantage, all right? Now let's look at things here with a second class lever. So now I'm gonna draw the moment arm of the resistive force, right? This is the blue dotted line here. And now when I draw the red dotted line, we can see that the moment arm of the muscle force is significantly longer, right? So if we just said in a first class lever that the moment arm of the resistive force is going to be larger, that puts us at a mechanical disadvantage. But now, if the moment arm of our muscle force is larger, that's gonna put us at a mechanical advantage. So what that means is that we can move a heavy or a large external resistance without a lot of muscle force. And so think about the exercise example that they give in the textbook for a second class level, right? That's a calf raise. With every step that we take in terms of uh, late support or toe off, push off, whatever you wanna call it, we're doing some form of plantar flexion. Whenever we go up on our toes, right, that's doing plantar flexion. That, think about how easy that is for us to do, right? It is very easy and efficient for us to do because of this setup in terms of uh, this second class lever and us having that mechanical advantage. And we can see here with the second class lever that the muscle force is farthest from the fulcrum, all right? So, and the orientation would be muscle force, resistive force, then fulcrum, all right? So with resistive force being in the middle. Now let's move on to a third class lever. So with the third class lever, right, we can see now that it looks similar to a second class, but now the muscle force and the resistive force have changed positions here. So the muscle force is gonna be in the middle and the resistive force is going to be on the outside. So if effectively, right, what that's going to do is increase the moment arm of the resistive force. And we can visibly see here that this is larger than the moment arm of the uh, muscle force. So therefore, with the third class lever, we are also going to have a mechanical disadvantage just like the first class lever for the same exact reason, right? The moment arm of the resistive force is larger than the moment arm of the muscle force, okay? So again, think about the exercise example that they get for this, a bicep curl, another exercise where we can't do a whole lot of weight and we have to use a lot of muscle force to move a small external resistance, all right? So just for final review, right, the moment arm is a perpendicular distance from the line of force to the fulcrum, all right? Whereas when we see MF or RF, those are the forces of themselves, right? The muscle force that our body is creating and the resistive force being whatever external load or resistance that we're moving, all right? And again, the fulcrum is kind of like that pivot point or that axis of rotation. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Hope you guys are able to take something away from this and have a better understanding of the three classes of levers and uh, what a moment arm is and how it looks like in these three classes of levers. 
If you need any additional support studying for your CSCS exam, please head to the strengthcoachtutor.com and you can book one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions with me and also join our online classroom where you can get hundreds of practice questions. You can get a full-length exam, self-paced course, and you can ask questions directly to me so I can help you out. All right, guys, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next video.